what can we authentically kind of talk about? What is legitimately something that we can potentially have an element of ownership on? Um, and Deschamps very much based or it pays heritage to the Bombay cafes, um, which are old Irani cafes. And in Bombay, if you go back to sort of 40, 50 years ago, there were sort of over 300 of these cafes, and now there's just over single digits, about 12, 13. But what those cafes did, which was really exceptional, was bring people together from different religions, faiths, um, classes, um, and they break bread across the same table. And anyone who's been lucky enough to be to Bombay and been to an Irani cafe, it literally is like that. They're big tables and people share their food. Um, and it's quite humbling. And I guess for us, we thought actually, well, that's really interesting. And actually, that idea around breaking down barriers when we look at the culture of what we do is re-energising those people because there is an element sometimes of we've always done it this way um, and let's try and do things um, slightly differently or, or and bringing experience from other places that have worked or you know we can try and I think for us it's about um, keeping it clear and concise what we're all about what, how we do things um, and giving some values of and asking the teams what it is that they come to work for and why they come to work at Town Hall and why they've stayed with us for eight years. So you start with a, a dream, a vision, an aspiration. It needs to be relevant, it needs to be authentic, it needs to be challenging, it needs to have a bit of credibility and dead simple. You know, keep things, you know, keep things very, very straightforward. Um, we underpin that then with a series of behavioural values people thrive with success. It's like sports, you know, all the great teams, people want to play for them. So we have to look at what we can offer as um, reward and recognition and, um, and I think it's about personalising that and asking people what does, what, you know, what's interesting to them and what makes them, you know, what turns them on as it were. And we are in an industry that we can provide or we can try and um, create Money can't buy experiences. And it's about fulfilling the individual aspirations and running an, an energetic, enthusiastic organisation that allows people to do that. If you do that, you'll keep people and you won't have to talk salary all day. We have a philosophy around pay, which is pay as much as you can afford as opposed to as little as you can get away with. Small loyalty bonuses that we, we put out at Christmas. Very, we're talking very small amounts of money, but again, for relatively small, I guess it's sort of everything's relative, but for some of our some of our TAs, some of our cleaners, uh, teacher assistants, cleaners and the like, a small £100, £200 bonus at Christmas is, is, is well worth it. Hornets and butterflies, what are the hornets that we need to get rid of? What are those, those annoying little things buzzing around that, that really grate on our teachers day on day, that takes their time away from working with children? And, and what are those butterflies that we need to encourage and spread uh, across all of our schools? Last year, or about 18 months ago, um, we launched a set of community standards, um, which in essence are a kind of a group of things that we agree, if you're a decent person, you'd probably do these things. But we wrote them down and we're really explicit about it. 